Hello, I'm Emmanuel from Vioso and today I'm going to show you how to set up an NVIDIA Quattro based system for use with Vioso AnyBlend. The first thing is to explore the hardware configuration. Right click on the desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. At first visit the Node Workstation and there view System Topology. Clicking on System Topology gives you an overview about the installed GPUs. In this case we have a dual GPU setting. The Quattro Sync synchronizes the main GPUs, in this case Quattro M6000, and there is an auxiliary GPU for the monitor. Our focus are the main GPUs. Expanding it shows a lot of information about the connected displays. The displays are detected at each startup of Windows. The first thing we want to do is to have the monitor or display configuration burned in into the graphics card so that whatever you connect, the graphic card is always having this display active even if it's detached. So in this case you see we have on the DVI-2 connected a projector, on DVI-3 connected a projector and we browse to visit the secondary main GPU and there we see as well projector 3 and projector 4. The source of this display information, the EDID, is shown here, EDID in brackets monitor. So monitor means it is read from the projector at every startup and this is what you are going to change. Clicking on an arbitrary EDID link opens the manage EDID dialog. First we have to export the, the uh, EDID assuming that we have identical projectors it doesn't matter which one to select so you select an arbitrary entry and click export EDID. You save the EDID as a text file for example in the documents folder and we call it delta EDED. It is arbitrary the name you give. It takes a while. No feedback, this is typical to NVIDIA drivers. Loading this EDID means you overwrite whatever is recognized at startup and this is what you want to have. So we select the delta EDID, open. And now we assign to where we have a projector um, connected. So check this and this, and we check this and this, and then we proceed with load EDID. Now again it takes a while, there's no feedback. Until then, EDID has been loaded. Closing this dialog updates the view system topology page and now you see EDID in brackets file. Whenever EDID in brackets file is shown means the information for these projectors are only derived from the file. Whatever you now put on or put off the server won't change the recognized um, monitor. Right clicking on the desktop calling screen resolution shows the overview in Windows. So these are the projectors and again due to this EDID management, it doesn't matter if these projectors are physically available or not. Mm -hmm.